everyone i wanted to go ahead and break down a few different ways that i've actually personally used to actually make my older iphone feel completely brand new now the first thing i've always pretty much done for the most part is actually updating my iphone now if you have the ability to even if you're rocking an iphone success that is technically unsupported with software right now if you have the ability of updating your iphone as frequently as possible it may not be the most stable thing in the world but it's definitely going to be giving you the most common and most you know prominent features that are within basically all iPhones out there. So what you can do is you can make your way over to your settings, click general, click software update, and if you have the ability of updating your phone, if you have enough storage and everything like that, I would recommend updating your device pretty much as frequently as possible. Do not install the betas or public betas just yet for iOS 16, but I would highly recommend actually going through and pretty much just installing the versions of software that you can because that will pretty much give you a lot of features throughout you know, your whole entire experience of using the device. So that's pretty much the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now another thing I would recommend doing is actually keeping your iPhone clean of basically as much storage and as least amount of widgets and just stuff stacking up the screen as possible. Now on this iPhone you can see I have a widget right here and I have pretty much no other widgets except for these ones, right? I never use these widgets and I don't need two different battery widgets. So another thing I'd recommend doing is deleting as many widgets as you can from your panels because that is going to save not only a little bit of you know space from your screen, but it can also save a little bit of battery life and a little bit of performance. If your phone if your phone doesn't have to go ahead and continuously have to keep, you know, rendering these different types of widgets and everything, you can actually see that you'll probably see a little bit of a faster phone just by a little bit on your older devices. If you have an iPhone 13 or the latest one, it doesn't really matter. But for all these older ones, sometimes deleting those widgets can honestly help a lot too. Another thing is deleting these widgets on the side. If you don't use any of these widgets here, I'd probably recommend removing them here too. This isn't as crazy big of a deal because you're really not going to be coming here that often, but if you want to delete those, I would recommend doing that as well. And on top of that, a new iOS 16 feature, which is actually with the lock screen, now allows us to have widgets on our front panel too. So if you hold down on the lock screen like this, you can get into this customize panel and if you go and click customize you have the ability of basically adding a new wallpaper and you can go ahead and add all sorts of different widgets and so many other things right here as you can see now this is great but if you want to get the most out of your phone i would recommend you know keeping as a, the lowest amount of widgets as possible if you have the ability of not using maybe like 10 different widgets i would recommend just using like one or two kind of going from there that's honestly probably going to give you the best you know mixture of stability and also the, using the features again if you don't really care about it then use as many as you want to but personally i would recommend you know kind of removing the amount of features and widgets that you can and that can also make your iphone feel like a brand new device now ultimately one of my favorite things to recommend to people to do if they're having an iphone that is starting to feel sluggish and it doesn't feel like it's a brand new device anymore I have seen amazing results by factory resetting my iPhone. Now that basically means deleting everything from your phone and basically like bringing everything back up and then going from there. For some reason that has given me stable experiences, it's given me faster performance on old iPhones and it's increased my battery life like crazy too on a lot of devices too. So the first thing I would recommend doing is making a backup of all the data that you have on your iPhone. So plug it in, do a backup through your computer, your PC, Mac, whatever you have. You can also do a backup via iCloud if you want to, if you have the opportunity to I think. We still have the ability if you go on general, if you click on transfer or reset iPhone and if you actually click on the get started here you can actually do a backup one time I believe every one every six months or something and you can actually do a complete backup with an iCloud and restore later so I recommend doing here or whichever other way you want to make a backup and then what I would recommend doing is factory resetting your iPhone which means deleting everything from your device reinstalling everything back in by transferring that backup back and after that you will see that your iPhone will probably feel so much smoother and faster I've done it to a ton of different devices and it's pretty crazy the results you can have from something like that so that kind of covers up a few different ways you can kind of make your old iPhone feel like a brand new iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.